My First Bible presents The Call of Gideon, Judges 6. After 40 peaceful years, the Israelites did what offended God again, which is to worship the false gods of the Canaanites. As a consequence, they fell under the oppression and domain of the Midianites for seven years. The Israelites were having such a hard time that they had to run towards the mountains seeking refuge. There, they lived hiding in caves and in fortified spaces. Each time the Israelites tried to grow the fields, the Midianites, along with the Amalekites and other peoples of the east, went, plundered, and destroyed all of their crops, leaving them with nothing to eat. They also killed their livestock, their sheep, oxen, bulls, and donkeys. As a result, the Israelites were completely deprived from animals and resources. These Midianites, together with their Amalekite allies and other peoples of the East, were camping near the Israelites with the intention of harming them. Both them and their camels were too many, so much that they looked like a locust infestation. The misery of the Israelites was such because of the Midianites that they cried out to God asking for help. God heard his people and seeing their suffering sent them a prophet who told them, I bring a message from God to you. The Lord says, I took you out from Egypt, land of slavery, and freed you of its power. I also freed you from the power of all your oppressors to give your land back to you. I told them, I am the Lord, your God. Do not worship false gods, the ones the Amorites worship, in which land you live. But you decided not to obey. You chose to worship false gods. You chose not to obey. And that way, the Israelites sadly had to face the consequences of having made the wrong choice. But God, for his mercy, had a plan to free them. In a place called Ophrah, the angel of the Lord showed up and sat under a tree, which belonged to Yoas of the tribe of Manasseh. Yoash's son, his name was Gideon. He was cleaning the wheat in place and hid it to protect it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord presented itself before Gideon, it told him, The Lord is with you, brave warrior. What do you mean the Lord is with me? <laughs> how could you say that? Gideon answered. Don't you see how we are living? Don't you know that we have to live hiding from the Midianites? If the Lord is with me, then why is all of this happening to us? Where are those stories our parents used to tell us about when they said, God took us out of Egypt, God freed his people? The truth is that God has abandoned us and has handed us to the Midianites. The Lord faced Gideon and told him, you, with the bravery and strength you hold, will save Israel from the power of Midian. Me? But, but Lord, how will I save Israel? My troop is the weakest from the Manasseh tribe, and I'm the smartest of my family. The Lord answered, You will defeat the Midianites as if they were just a single man, because I will be by your side. Okay. If you will be with me, then I need proof that it is you who I'm talking to, Gideon answered. I, I will bring my offer and offering, and I will put it before you, but I need to prepare it. So please, don't leave until I come back. I will, I will wait, wait for, for you, you here, here, the Lord said. Gideon rushed to prepare a kid and used flour to make unleavened bread. 
Once he had everything ready, he took the unleavened bread, placed the meat in a basket, and the meat stock in a pot. And then he took it where the angel was. God's angel told him to place the meat in the unleavened bread on a rock that was there, and then to spill the meat stock on it. So he did. So, with the tip of the stick he was carrying, the Lord's angel touched the meat and the unleavened bread. And suddenly, fire came out of the rock, which consumed the meat and all of the bread there. Then the angel of the Lord disappeared from his sight. Bye. When Gideon realized it was the Lord, he exclaimed, Oh my! I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face! But the Lord told him, Do not fear, you won't die, be in peace. At that moment, Gideon built there an altar for God, and called it Jehovah Shalom, which means, The Lord is peace. That same night, God told him, Take a bull from your father's herd, Pick the second one, the one who is seven years old. Your task will be to tear down the altar your father dedicated to Baal, as the wooden post with the Asherah image which is next to him. Then, using Asherah wood, you will offer the bull that you took as a holocaust. Gideon heard every instruction coming from God. That way, he did as the Lord had told him. But he did it at night, since he was afraid of his family and the men of the city. There, with ten of his servants, they destroyed the altar devoted to Baal. And Asherah made it little bits, turned it into wood, and with it offered God a holocaust with the bull of his father. The morning after, when they realized... Ugh, oh, this can't be true! What has happened here? What have you done with Ball? Oh my Ball! What? What? Ball! Oh, right, right. Who dared to do this? Everyone asked themselves angrily. After a research, they arrived to the conclusion that it had been Gideon, the son of Yoash. Angry, the men of the city demanded Yoash. Where's your son, Gideon? He has to die! Look! Look what he has done! He destroyed the altar of Baal and the image of Asherah! Mm -hmm. Yoash, in a very smart way, answered them. Won't you defend Baal? Um, well, no, no. no. Isn't Baal God to defend himself on his own? Um, yes, yes, well, yes. Then anyone who defends Baal must die before dawn. What? Oh no, no, no. If Baal is really a god, he should defend himself from the one who has destroyed his altar. Isn't that true? Uh, well, yes, 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 yes. Well then, let Baal be the one who defends himself. Uh, well, that. yes, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll then, since no, that no. moment, yeah, Gideon oh, was called Jerubal, oh. which means, let Baal defend against him, because he has destroyed his altar. <laughs> All the Midianites, Amalekites, and other people of the east allied and camped in the Jezreel Valley. Then, Gideon, filled with the Lord's Spirit, blew the trumpet and called his clan a Beezer for them to follow him and send messages to the entire tribe of Manasseh, Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali so they would also join him. Gideon needed to have the safety that God had chosen them. So he told God, Lord, if you would free the people through me, I need, please, a sign for me to know that and for me to be sure you have chosen me. 
Look, look at this wool fleece I have here. Well, I will leave it here during the night. And if you make all the dew of the night remain on the fleece, and the floor remains dry, then I will know you will save Israel, and that you have chosen me, as you have told me. And that was what happened. Uh. At the next day, uh. Gideon woke up early, saw the floor completely dry, touched uh. the fleece and felt ah. its wetness. So he squeezed it to remove the water out of it, and with it, he filled a cup of water. Thus, Gideon knew he was the chosen one, but he wasn't completely sure yet, and told God. Oh God, don't, don't be mad at me. Look, this is the last one. Let me do one more test with the fleece. This time, let only the fleece dry, and that the entire ground is covered with dew, so I will have no doubt you have chosen me. So God did it that night. The next day, Gideon realized that everything was damp and wet from the nocturnal dew. But when he touched the fleece that was on the wet floor, he realized it was completely dry. Wow. And just like that, Gideon knew he was the chosen. And through him, God will free Israel from the Midianites. There's no more excuses. Subscribe, comment, like, and follow us on our social media accounts. Hey, we will greet our friends who have commented on our post. If you want a greeting in the next video, follow us and comment on the latest posts on our networks, Instagram and YouTube. The next greetings go to Abby and Hannah, Song and Yobs from Philippines, Little Snow Owl Storytime, Kelly, Ketty JP, Milk and Honey, Syopsite, Alex Jimenez, New Jersey, Salary, Christ Daly, Gabrielle Tadara, Rose Marigon, Reina, Alex, Fernando, and Flory from New Jersey, Family Desir from Barbados, Innocent Chick 22 from Jamaica, Mateo Rizal from Philippines, Carby from Canada, Donald, Kaiden, and Jaciana from Springfield EEUU, Lilia Marcella Hernandez, Gladys Marcia from Indonesia, Your Servant Bree, Mela Mobles, Hysteria Ranger, Imig Dianan from New Zealand, Brianna Mariah. Thank you very much for all your great support!